Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. The Pont de la Tour is a French restaurant, fairly simple in our style, but essentially it's regional French cuisine, but cooked with British produce. I think having a French classical training is very, very, very important. Once you've learned the basics, then you can go on and do whatever you want. It's like a house, you build a house, you build the foundations, and you build everything else on the top. I love cooking with lamb. It's a good animal, versatile. We've used brains, we've used shanks, necks, testicles. Very important to uh, understand that to utilize all the lesser cuts, helps butchers tell the whole animal and makes it a little bit more exciting, really. I'm Tony Fleming, executive chef of La Pont de la Tour restaurant by Tower Bridge. Uh, the dish we're cooking today is a cushion of lamb, salad aged potato, perigo sauce, and glazed sweetbreads. So the truffle sauce has butter mushrooms, sliced shallots, garlic, thyme, equals amount of red wine, ruby pork, and then a lamb stock. What we're gonna do, roast off the vegetables quickly, just to take a little bit of the rawness out of them. Handful of shallots in, handful of butter mushrooms. Mushrooms just help kill some of the acidity in the wine. A few sticks of thyme and garlic. Thyme, garlic, shallots. Another good base of many sauces, French sauces. Cooking with wine, especially red wine and pork, gives it the color, gives it the richness, gives it the depth, gives it a bit of sweetness as well. And the same effect with white wine in lighter sauces, really. Right, so then we're gonna go in equal amounts of red wine and ruby pork, okay? We're gonna take it right down to intensify the flavor and intensify the color as well and make it a little bit sweeter. So we'll leave that to reduce. So this is our cushion of lamb. Uh, effectively, it's a top side, nice little joint, not used very often, great for two. So we roast this and we serve it for two people. So this is from Lake District Farmers up in Cumbria. Great producer, known him for about 10, 12 years, Russell and Dan, so passionate. And they really do great in their local community, supporting their farmers and stuff. And I love to work with their guys. Their produce is like some of the best, their meat is some of the best I've ever had. We start in a little bit of oil, plenty of salt, a good bit of pepper. We always put pepper on me, not just beef, but anything, you know. Oh, I'm a big fan of a bit of ground pepper. And into a pan, start it in vegetable oil. So we're just gonna brown that on all the sides, caramelize it a little bit, get that nice roast lamb flavor. So a little bit of thyme, just roughly chopped garlic. Gonna go butter. We don't really cook for health reasons here. So that's, that's not what we're about. People come to Pont de la Tour because the location of the food, they come for a celebratory really, come for a special night out. So yeah, I use of butter and cream, we're not really shy about. You know, and, you know like I say, French cuisine as well, kind of lends itself to that. So you want the butter foaming like that really. If you want to get something golden brown, definitely uh, need to cook with butter. So in the oven. <laughs> so that's been roasting for 12, 15 minutes. So you want nice medium rare, nice pink color. You're looking like 40, 42, sort of 45 degrees, something like that. If you don't have a digital probe, a good way to test it, just take something metal, a metal spike, barbecue spike or, or whatever, yeah? Just take it, make sure you hit the center of the meat, leave it there five seconds. <clears throat> and as you take it out, just touch it on the top of your lip. It needs to be just warm. You think that your lip's 37 degrees, so you want it just above that, a couple of degrees above. So it feels slightly warm, perfect, medium rare. And now it's cooked, so we're gonna rest it for a good 20 minutes. So back to the red wine sauce. Reduction is now there, reduced by 80-90%. Not completely dry, but nearly dry. And you can see, nice, deep, dark red color. So then lamb stock, in she goes, I don't know, about a litre to that. So we'll bring that back up to the boil. So now we're gonna do the potatoes. So this is salad aged potatoes. Potatoes cooked in duck fat, essentially. Chip of choice potatoes, boiled in the skins, half cooked, still slightly raw in the middle, yeah? And all we're gonna do is grate them. Chipper's choice potato is uh, essential, really, because when you go to pan fry it later, that'll help with the color. So grate it so you can see like half raw. Okay, we're gonna add some smoked pork belly, pink thyme, shallots. We've got some lamb shoulder. This is not essential, really. These are the essential ingredients, but we like to add a little bit of another part of the animal. Very important to uh, understand that these butchers and these farmers need to sell the whole animal. It's no good everyone buying beef fillets and, uh, and racks of lamb. So as much as we can, if we're cooking a duck breast, we we'll use a duck leg. If we're cooking a, a rump of lamb, we'll use a shoulder. So here, just to do that, we took a bit of a lamb shoulder, which is just braised, slow cooked uh, lamb shoulder. We're gonna mix it in as well. So into that, we add the bacon, plenty of thyme, and then these are the uh, shallots, yeah? So just diced shallots cooked in half duck fat and half vegetable oil. So we pour everything in. So and the oil in there as well. And then lamb shoulder. 
So we need a slow cook, we just braise this. Or you could roast it on a slow roast, it's fine, just for a few hours. Just pick the meat off the bone, so just shred that slightly. Just to finish it and bind it together, plenty of duck fat, yeah. So to bring it all together. Again, like I say, we're not cooking for health reasons here, yeah, we're cooking for flavour. Salt and pepper. And then get your hand in and mix and mash. Really, you're not like folding it nicely or anything like that. You just really want to bring it all together. So you've got smokiness of the bacon, depth from the shallots, meatiness from the lamb, and then the duck fat really gives it a nice richness, you know? So that's the salad aged potato mix, yeah? Now, to be honest, you could just cook that straight in a pan, like you would do a bit of bubble and squeak or, or whatever. We're just going to put it in a little ring, just to make it look a touch uh, prettier, into a pan. A little uh, non-stick pan. We don't need to add any, uh, any fat or anything like that, obviously, oil, because it has plenty in already. And pack it in nicely. And all we need to do is just brown it on each side. And there we go, right, we'll leave that to color. Color on the side like that, okay. And then take about four minutes each side, flip it, and then done, and that's it. Red wine sauce is now ready, so it's reduced. Just again, pass it through a fine chinois. Just take out any uh, impurities. We've got chopped truffle, and all we're gonna do is just add it to the red wine sauce. So we passed off the red wine sauce, a good spoonful of uh, minced truffle that we've chopped into the sauce and mix it through, and that's the sauce done. As I said earlier, using like, you know, some other cuts of the animal, we've got some lamb sweetbreads. Super rich sweetbreads, very creamy texture. Um, so what we do, we pan fry them and deglaze with some vinegar, a little bit of sunflower oil, or vegetable oil. So onto the sweetbreads, and then into the pan. So what we want to do, you want crispy and golden on the outside, but then like just cooked in the middle, so they're nice and creamy. Anything more than that, they're gonna to start to go dry, yeah? And I, too, I think they're unique sweetbreads. I think that, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, that is like that, or that is, like, there's nothing like sweetbreads. I think they have really unique individual flavor that you can't compare it to anything else. Again, we're gonna go a little bit of butter. Butter always helps with the color. It, it colors at a lower point, a lower temperature. So it's always good to have some butter. And again, a good base over the top. Yeah, we buy like 25 kilo blocks of butter at a time and, and it's expensive these days, butter, you know, it's like all dairy, the prices have gone up and stuff, but yeah, it's one of the things we don't really uh, uh, cut back on. Uh, we are <clears throat> quite liberal with our butter here. That's what you're looking for, nicely fine butter. And that'll be about 30 seconds and that'll be ready. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna glaze them now, but we need to take out the fat. We want the vinegar to stick to the sweetbreads, but you don't want no fat in the pan for that because it will just swim around in the fat. We'll just strain the fat off, just pour it off, just dip some bread in that and eat it, it'll be tasty. Okay, so now we put them back in, heat the pan up, then we're just gonna deglaze with the vinegar, okay? And then just roll it around so that the vinegar reduces. Gives it a nice sweet flavor as well, but what you really want is just to cut through the richness. That's what you're looking for. Keep going until there's no liquid left in the pan, and then they're ready to go. So with this dish, it's a little garnish of anchovies, and all we're gonna do, we're gonna deep fry them in a bit of uh, batter, just to get a bit of texture and a bit of saltiness as well. So just gonna make a little tempura batter. All we use for this is a straight tempura mix, tempura flour, and then we just add sparkling water to it, nothing else. A good pinch of salt inside, and that's it. It wants to be quite thin. We'll just leave that to the side, it'll thicken up a little bit. Then all we'll do, we'll drop the anchovy fillets in, deep fry them, and just drop them around the side of the dish for, for garnish. So this is our tempura batter, just our little sticks of anchovies. Yeah, it's into the fryer. Tempura batter, a couple of minutes, just so they're crispy. Three pieces is all we need, so that's, that's plenty. And then just as a garnish, we've got some baby onions. So we just peeled them, boiled them in a little bit of chicken stock, then we're just gonna roast them and put them on the outside. And baby onions in the pan. And again, start them in oil, start the color, finish them with butter, with a little stick of thyme. Not too early, because it'll burn. Good pinch of salt. Okay, so onions are ready now, nice golden brown. For garnish as well, we've got some garlic cloves. Uh, comfy garlic, break the garlic down, cover it in duck fat, and simmer for like two hours really, really slowly, just so the garlic cooks, softens, and goes super, super sweet and almost purees inside. Fantastic with our lamb. I'm just gonna carve off one portion, okay? I want about four or five slices. And there we go, that's a nice portion. Okay, so there's our salad aged potato. And then around the outside, our nicely glazed lamb sweetbreads, three per portion. Okay, so three cloves of garlic, a few baby onions. Take quite, we'll add a few more of those on at the end. Let me take the lamb. So lamb into the center, and then we'll add a few more, few more onions. Then we've got our crispy anchovies. 
just three of those is enough. So obviously, anchovies are you know super super strong. And then here we got some. Uh, it's a little bit of fennel, a little bit of aniseed, a little bit of citrusy. Again, it's like just add a little bit of raw crunch to it, you know, because it is heavy with you know cooked in duck fat, cooked in butter. So you want something a little bit raw and crunchy and zingy, just to sort of cut through all of that. And then our sauce. So we just drizzle a little bit around the outside. I'm not a big fan of sourcing over to me, so just a little bit around the outside just to help finish it. Nice sweet truffle flavour over the top, like that. And again, don't like to flood the plate. We like to leave the guests if they like to add a bit more sauce down to them. So we just have a little bit of truffle sauce on the side. So that's our roast cushion of Lake District lamb with saladized potatoes, comfy garlic, glazed sweetbreads, baby onions, finished with a perigodine sauce and deep fried anchovies.